I will see my baby will be out quite about some cool and from like a muscle on like GH, Mr. Sober like and wash it and so so at the amount for fro, not for fro and so so and you be a day as shame the people know and now the comments now be repay my baby now has seen a making kind of and so so at the amount moments of true press conference and rather in this amount of people know at a press conference or my gun and was an essay change later and casa there's a lawyer Aye, Sami Jamfi, and Ejo Bejina Bonti, and also about this year, so because of Fabi Winston Dubrina, at the fire press conference or the buy. Now, what's in it? Some man who can't hear nothing says, "Eh, Bema, eh, can some man kasa." In chat, we are new. We said, "Doctor, my word, we are." And so then, the speech about Bonti, now we pure more social media, and another part, then here, two man, we are kasa, and a man, some man, we can't hear. No, no, we say, "In fact, we say, drugu buku mukula na, and now the buku, and some man, try to edit, edit, be ne free ne ja." On one day, I dream of so okay, it can be at the car home. Then not that, and the end is a money corner. I have some medium fee and so buy it. And then some of the some medium fee are blues to be a casa. Some medium fee say, Ah, I had a bad year, and people are money cool. A copy, a copy, a buy, and I saw more the buy, you know. So, what can I see? Can't go for a decrot or crown and a year machine. And when you're Janice, the newness or baby, no, a kite is a car, and people are buying us another down quick for the show boy, or in a bed, a cheer, a year. Doctor Mawudu ba umi omedi ya nesa ni ye mkura shesheno. Wa sisi kanke beti mabuwa mwa ma ingana etu mpon. E beti ma shwe ama gana ati yeti se guba ene de kika eka hono. A ye MP ufi ama nukwe ya temsika ye gombo tu mno mudin wan 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 se ya. E fiti 2016 na besi ya na na nado dan kwe kufuwa dwe da soti ya bema. Oguswa wati ya bema no. O kasi ka pa na se. O kasi ka MP ufi ama nukwe ne diya ye masa don go de. Na ye ka ubi o ya kronfo na so mwa mwa ya kronfo di ya na MP ufi ama nukwe. A year Jack Toronto, and another drunk work for the showboy at a gaga to remind or new be by JK or Monday number one and Cassa eight in a year about two a year quack or soon and copon was seven December. You make it sure say better about no other man John Germany Mahama if you saw no any bit of my one more my gun and fun into my peripheral and then some of the air or can be a cool yes and a book one was a year doctor my old about me be by JK on same for to say a say a two about no other man because yeah, two abana man at the end, a drone, a wild trees, a wild try and dread, try and dread, try and try, and a drug gun, a map for any more. And as the seven December, it's a call to abani be at the ma, and people are man who could not, and then drone at the ever cause to try and drunk as I didn't put in some mass, some major fear, and what that, but it's too job, right? Not press conference, no echo so infamous. Ghanaians would recall that during the intense public debate on the infamous Ejapa deal, the NDC took a principled position to stand with the people of Ghana. We kicked against the whole Ejapa arrangement on grounds that the country's mineral royalties had been grossly undervalued under the opaque deal. And that same was going to deny future governments and gen generations mineral revenues for development. Consequently, the NDC minority caucus in parliament staged a walkout when the Japa deal was presented to Parliament for approval. Sadly, but unsurprisingly, the corrupt ruling New Patriotic Party used their numbers in Parliament to approve the sleazy Japa deal in spite of the huge public outcry over the lack of value for money surrounding the deal. The flag bearer of the NDC and Insha Allah the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, vowed at the time to cancel the fraudulent Ejapa royalties deal if he won the 2020 general elections, a position that has not changed. Several civil society organizations, including Imani, ISODEC, PIAC, the Ghana Integrity Initiative, IDEC, ESEPA, ASEP, among others, kicked against this ripoff called Ejapa, based on sound arguments and alternative proposals, all of which were ignored by the corrupt and nepotistic Ekufuado Bawumia government who were hell-bent on stealing our mineral royalties. Subsequently, the Office of the Special Prosecutor established in its corruption risk assessment report that the Japa deal was fraught with procurement rigging, statutory breaches, potential money laundering, and inimical to the national interest. 
Eventually, the chilling details of this report, coupled with sustained pressure from the National Democratic Congress and Civil Society, compelled the president to shamefully beat a retreat and refer the deal, which he had already given executive approval for, back to parliament for reconsideration pending the 2020 general elections. My brothers and sisters, throughout our struggle against this Ejapa heist, we never knew and never imagined that the ruling MPP had spent a staggering $12 million equivalent to 153 million Ghana cities on this deal. With each passing day, and as the clock ticks to the 7th December 2024 elections, for Ghanaians to kick this irredeemably corrupt government out of office, the countless skeletons in their closet of corruption keep unfolding before our very eyes. These are in these sad times for the people of Ghana. We in the NDC are completely appalled by the decision of this corrupt government to spend this colossal amount of money on the Japa scam, which never saw the light of day. It is unconscionable and in fact, the height of cruelty that the government of President Ekufuadu and Alaji Bawumia engage in this naked TV and brazen abuse of the public press at a time, at a time, ladies and gentlemen, that our country was battling the dreaded COVID-19 pandemic and Ghanaians were already reeling under excruciating hardships. Friends from the media, not even COVID could stop our friends in the MPP from stealing from the people of this country and the suffering masses under the guise of this thing in the Japan deal. As you may recall, the OSP established beyond every reasonable doubt that the Japan deal violated the public procurement law, the Public Financial Management Act, and the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, and therefore, the entire transaction was null, void, and of no effect. The most startling revelation of the OSP in its corruption risk assessment report on the Ejapa scam was the fact that some illegal payments were made to certain entities under the deal. These entities included Data Bank, a company which was founded and is still owned by Ken Oforiata, cousin of President Akufuado, the immediate past finance minister, who has been promoted to the position of senior presidential advisor on the economy and special envoy on international investments and the capital markets. The OSP also found similar illegal payments were made to African legal associates, a law firm belonging to Gadi Ochredakon, cousin of President Ekufuado, who today says he has resigned from Ghana's politics. Ladies and gentlemen, all these payments were found by the OSP to be unlawful, hence null and void. Yet till date, these payments, which did not benefit the country in any way or provide any value to the country, have not been retrieved by the state. These are in these sad times for the people of Ghana. My brothers and sisters, we all know what good this gargantuan amount of money we are talking about, which is equivalent, like I said, to 153 million cities and 1.5 trillion old Ghana cities could have achieved in Ghana's bankrupt economy if he had been put to judicious use. This money could have sufficed to pay the cost of several months of treatment for all kidney patients in Ghana, 19 of whom died painfully following the shameful closure of the Kolebu renal unit over government's 4 million Ghana cities indebtedness. The debt at the renal unit at Kolebu, for which reason that whole unit 
was shut down for months, leading to the avoidable deaths of 19 kidney patients. Why? Because we didn't have 4 million Ghana cities. Yet we have wasted 153 million cities on a deal that never materialized. A deal that was aborted owing to our vigilance. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the colossal amount of money we are talking about could have been used to provide childhood vaccines to protect innocent babies from dying from childhood diseases due to the shortage of essential vaccines. You were all in this country not too long ago where we recorded shortages of childhood vaccines and children died in this country because government said they didn't have money. They had to take our neighbors, Nigeria, to loan us vaccines before we could save and protect our own children. Yet, this government can waste and misappropriate 153 million Ghana cities of taxpayers' money. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the amount of money we are talking about, if you don't know, could have procured textbooks for basic school children who have gone five years, five years, without curricular-based textbooks after the introduction of a new curriculum. Again, this $12 million we are talking about, this money that we have lost to sheer greed, selfishness, and corruption, could have paid allowances of national service personnel in Ghana who have not been paid for four months and counting as we speak today. Additionally, this huge amount of money we are talking about could have been used to create thousands of jobs for NAPCO beneficiaries who have been sent home after they were promised permanent employment. This amount of money again could have been used to provide portable drinking water or to construct several chip compounds or schools for children who are sitting under trees. Cheap compounds for people who cannot access healthcare in many deprived communities in Ghana. Portable water for many Ghanaians who drink cyanide polluted water. Water that animals drink from. We could have used this amount of money for these meaningful investments for the benefit of the country. Sadly, but very characteristic of the corrupt and nepotistic Ekufuado Baumia government. They have distributed all this money among themselves under the guise of expenditure on an aborted, stillborn Ejapa scam. We are totally disgusted, and I believe you are too, by this wanton dissipation of public funds on a needless and useless venture by a government that rode on the back of an anti-corruption campaign into office with a promise to protect the public purse. My brothers and sisters, where did we go wrong? What crime have we committed to deserve this kind of treatment from our own leaders? Why are we being subjected to a constant abuse of our meager state resources by the ruling MPP government? At a time, many cannot even afford one square meal a day. At a time, our nation is faced with economic bankruptcy, marked by debt default, an all-time high unemployment rate, high interest rates, the highest in Africa, high inflation rates, and unprecedented socio-economic hardships. What crime have we committed to President Ekufuado and his corrupt protege, Alaji Bawumia? The pension of this government to hide behind crafty schemes such as the Japa deal to steal from the people of Ghana is just too much. It is not, if it is not about mortgaging future mineral royalties for a, a phony offshore entity called a Japa, then it is about dubious payment of $2 million for a phantom sky train project, which never saw the light of day. From the PDS TV orchestrated by Alaji Baumia, 
to the unconscionable and merry innovation deal, all the way to the stinky SML scandal, this government has been relentless in their greedy pursuit to fleece the state coffers. Ghanaians have had enough of this Akufu Adobawomi administration, which has earned the dubious distinction and reputation as the most corrupt government in the history of Ghana. Today, Ghanaians are suffering because the meager resources of the country, which are supposed to be put to judicious use for the benefit of all Ghanaians, have been hijacked, hijacked by a select few. This is why today, students are suffering. Teachers are suffering. Nurses are suffering. Doctors are suffering. Market women are suffering. Drivers are suffering. Mates are suffering. Okada riders are suffering. Engineers are suffering. Pastors are suffering. Church members are suffering. Journalists are suffering. Spare pass dealers are suffering. Women Men, are boys, boys, are girls, girls, are children, are and all of us are, are suffering. suffering. We are suffering because of the unprecedented corruption we are witnessing under the Kufuado Bawumia government. It is as simple as that. Ain't no end, some no end. I ya kwa kwa kuti e de banana shia sami jenfine ni ya blank kasa wonya na na do one one kwe biya sotro diye e na 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 do dan kwa kufara rusho bani ne pipi ya ba ubi ya baji one one e cha kwa 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 kuti na baby dinu akana no atu ne se ndi si amani kono mani ya bramu bati se kaka yanga sa e si sama wa e e sami jenfike ni na ne se e pipi ya bani na do mubeti mi e di abuwa e si e tu abani mo mo e e afi twenty twenty four di e yenka si e di ensa e ni egu eti e na Ghana masgo e yeni ne bet time the seat near the baby and from my gun and more say yeah now you're done if it's a doctor my would about me and your job it's in your for my gana yes and try if it's 2016 as a way try and try try and try by this in a now was also per president if you ain't there be in a job it's my brain to me probably to me a boy i'm a sick as him i'm a phone come on baby yeah to two dinners will be a new man and yeah my a gana mama gana two point a on one in jay am i on one and a bit to me, a boy John Jaman in Mahama in Tinoya, a fit twenty twenty four, seven December, by a quack or three, who co promote to no qua, not a quack or sinner, and a pump from say pine, said a bay a bony din so or no, and a young man penny. Nanny four years now, come on any more pursuit channel. Was me the near my pa, a bro, my gamma, my gana, a fun into my perfect, said a bay a doctor, come and chroma crack to ye, a seer, and a sort of say, and a crack, crumb of gana, crown and the corn, a better source, I ever back to gana, as I'm sober, if you are sitting to winning summer, and not a year lawyer, some agency, a debate to ya. The baby from my baby has never been to her, I said, and so about us, so messes of a like in wash, and so so dear man for fro, now for fro, and so and so it's in my cabin meeting, and all him a link on Usha Mari at the OP, and it's also a while I see it, over to me, sir, from Hannah ATP. Baby, I mean, be a so so no, Joseph, for now, and a dear my crowd. Bye bye.